I've been using the CMF Phone 1 uh, for a couple of weeks as my daily drive with the plan to do a full review. But <laughs> what I realise is I have nothing more to say about this phone compared to my teardown and my initial opinion video. So instead, I want to do something a little bit different and have a look at some 3D printed items for this phone. Like I said, I don't really have anything else to say about it. It's a fine phone. For under £200, it's a good value. The screen is nice, the cameras are fine, the battery life is fine, the processor is fine. Everything about it is fine, apart from the back plate, which has been touted as this amazing kind of accessory, and you've got this little accessory mount thing on the side here as well. But the problem is, you can't replace the battery. You can take the back off, you still can't replace the battery. It's still glued in and has a sticker on it to stop you. Uh, which is very perplexing because it means you lose the waterproof nature of most sealed phones uh, and you don't get the advantage of being able to replace the hardware yourself. As long, unless you're willing to deal with glue. So, what's the point? Well, I'm hoping in this video we find the point. One of the things that CMF have done have is release the back panel uh, as a 3D model with the aim to allow modders and people of the hardware variety to build stuff for this form factor and for the accessory mount. Uh, and another thing that Bamboo Labs, who are a pretty large 3D printer company, they make 3D printers and filament and all that sort of stuff, well, they did a competition recently uh, to kind of... Uh, spur the community, I guess, to make things. Uh, so the competition was to make different accessories for the back of this phone. Uh, I just so happened to have quite recently gotten into 3D printing, and I quite also happened to have bought a Bamboo Labs printer. So I thought, well, let's print some of the entries to this competition and let's see what they're like. Uh, the competition at the time of recording this has just finished, but still, I think it could be quite fun. And maybe that's the point of this back. Maybe the point is that you can customize your phone to a level that previously you couldn't do. All right, let's take a look at some of these. The first three things that we're going to look at are actually replacement back for the phone itself. So let's get the back off and let's have a look at our first item. Back off, as I said, battery with a warning, do not assemble this battery and uh, all that annoying stuff. Anyway, let's get the first thing printed up. Here we have it, our first printed item is this kind of interesting case design. Obviously uh, not giving you much protection in terms of the battery area, but it's just an idea, it's kind of cool. And I printed this using glow-in-the-dark PLA. So I think it's gonna look pretty cool too. As you might have seen, it printed this way up which I think is the best for obviously having a nice smooth inside to make it much easier to fit. But the problem is, because this isn't flat, you get lots of extra support material, which has been really difficult to get off. So if you are a 3D printer enthusiast, maybe you have some advice for this because I'm very new to 3D printing. So definitely uh, any advice, leave it down below. But still, I do like this. I think it looks pretty cool. It's also very cool that they released the file that you can actually print backs for the phone. So obviously if you didn't do the honeycomb design, you've got a decent backing to the phone. I mean, it's it's a little flimsy, but having said that, so is the actual one anyway. So, you know, I don't think you're much worse off using PLA for this sort of thing anyway. So it is a pretty tight fit, but I think that's kind of a good thing. Not going to bother with the screws, but they would fit in those holes just fine. It's just I don't want to spend the whole day taking screws in and out of this phone. I have put the accessory mount back on, so that works. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of cool. I just love the idea that you can make your own 
back plates. Obviously, you would need to take the actual volume rocker, probably from the original case, because that's kind of held in with a little bit of a rubber band. Uh, same for the power button as well, unless you just want to have to put your finger in there to open, turn it on and off. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, it functions. It is the back of the phone. Uh, but of course, the party trick, let's see what it's like glow in the dark. So I had to go somewhere that was dark, so welcome to my airing cupboard. But look at that, it really does glow in the dark. That is so cool. next one, uh, as you might have seen as well, uh, I actually flipped it upside down. So we printed the back of the phone on the top, which means that uh, you get a much nicer back finish. And I printed this pretty cool maze design that someone did. I really like that. It's a bit of a thicker boy. Uh, but the problem is, on the other side, you have all the support structure. And I haven't been able to get this off. I think maybe like a Dremel or something would be a good idea with this. It's just a pain. I've been trying to pull it off with tweezers and all sorts. It's a nightmare. Um, also, in doing that, it kind of pulled away some of the layers. It seems like it wasn't, some of the layers weren't adhered to so much. So the actual sides of the case have gone missing, <laughs> as you can kind of see. So not the best print, but I really do like the design. Let's see if it will still go on there, even with it missing half the case. So the simple answer is no. No, it won't go on there. Uh, there's just too much gump around the edges. It's a shame though, but really do like the design. So this is definitely one that I could see myself reprinting, uh, especially once I've learned a bit more about tweaking the settings and all that sort of thing. Again, any comments, comment down below. I would love to hear them. Let's have a look at the next thing. So this was another print I thought was really cool because it had a little bit more of a kind of function to it. And basically it has this sliding cover for the camera. So you can have a physical camera cover, which I think is quite cool. Um, I also really like that, you know, it's essentially changed the camera bump to this big full length camera bump. Uh, so it's really changed the design of the back of the phone, which is kind of cool that you'd be able to do that. Again, I printed this with the top being on the outside. I did have a lot more success with this print, getting uh, the structure stuff out of it. Still not perfect, uh, but again, any, any help would be great. <laughs> uh, and the sides of the phone have successfully stayed together. So let's get this one on. So here we go. Uh, again, I really like this kind of sliding cover. You've got the hole cut out for the LED, another screw as well. Again, I'm not going to screw this together, uh, but it kind of, it's not fitting too bad. It could use a bit more polishing up. Again, I think something like a Dremel to just kind of touch up the sides would be perfect, but I really, really like this one just for the sheer fact that it completely changes the look at the back of the phone. If you compare it to the original case, it's completely different. Uh, and I really like that. I just think that's, that's such a cool thing that you're able to do uh, by having this file. Um, so yeah, really love that. Okay, next up, we're going to print a couple of things that go on top of uh, the pre-existing case. So let's get the old case back on and get some stuff printed. We've got the back back on. Uh, let's take a look at the next print. So the first, <laughs> the first attempt at this one did not go to plan. I thought, okay, let's go back to having the bit that you're actually going to mount to the phone on the top and the support structure has been on the back. Problem is, again, I cannot for the life of me get any of this support stuff off. It It's stuck on there. So this is kind of lovely on that side and fits perfectly onto the case. And then basically you would need longer screws 
to screw it into position and you can then use the express accessory screw to hold it in place. Uh, but it obviously looks an absolute mess. So that was a bit of a fail. However, I did print it the other way around so we could actually see what it's supposed to be. And here is our Uno reverse card that you can carry around with you and always have uh, ready to hand in case you need, you know, to Uno reverse someone. Uh, again, I did a decent-ish job at cleaning this up. Still could be better. You can still see this is all support material. Like, the surface is supposed to look like this. Don't know if the camera picks that up. Uh, whereas this is much more liney and wavy. But it does kind of fit still. And you would basically have a little bit longer screws, screw that on, and then you've got an extra panel on your back of your phone for some reason. Uh, I mean, if you really need an Uno reverse card, I guess. But I do like how this multi-print, multi-color printed. Uh, so I do have the Bamboo Labs A1 with their AMS light. So I can do up to four colors. And I think this has just come out really well. Um, so I was proud of that, even if the back is still a bit of a mess. One more thing to print, and this one's a little bit more of a utility item. So I saw this straight away and thought I have to print this and uh, so I did. This is a modular system that basically adds compartments to the back of your phone. So you've got like this slide out item here and this is actually a bottle opener and then you've got another slide out item here. If you need to keep something in there, not really sure what that would be for but it's there and then this one was what I was particularly, this is what made me want to get it. It's an SD card and a micro SD card storage. So the idea is this whole thing then connects to the back of your phone like that. And again, you'd need some longer screws, but you can screw it in and you've got storage that comes out of the back of your phone whenever you need it. And this is definitely one of my favorite items. I thought this was so cool. They've designed lots of different kind of compartments that you can put in there. And then you can obviously mix and match it all prints as separate items, as you can kind of see. And then you can basically, you use these button bits, you push them in and it holds it together. I just, this was such an ingenious idea that I had to print this. Uh, and it's actually not come out too bad at all. Again, this was the bottom, but because a lot of it uh, is raised, there isn't actually much that it connects the phone with. It's actually come out quite flat. It does fit quite neatly. Again, if I had the longer screws, it would really, it would fit, it would work, and you could actually have that. It does add quite a lot of thickness to the phone, mind you. So, not sure how I'd feel about that. But still, I thought it's just such a cool little idea. So there we have it. Is that the killer feature that this phone needs to change the world? No. No, I don't think so, and I think I'm still very annoyed about the fact that you can't change the battery. Having said that, it is pretty cool that you can print your own backs and do your own designs. I definitely think I'm going to have to print another back in glow in the dark. I thought that was very cool. Which one was your favourite? Comment down below. Uh, and if you've enjoyed this uh, and enjoyed a look at some more 3D printed stuff, do let me know. I'm happy to do some more videos on that. I've definitely been getting into it outside of YouTube and just kind of been playing with it myself. So if that's something that interests you, please do let me know. Uh, but otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's not a full phone review, but I really didn't have anything more to say. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.